Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just decolonize you. Welcome to The Advocate. We keep pushing and campaigning for the issues that concern us all. No surprises there. However, it may surprise you to know that I believe God is a black woman. Do I have attention now? Keep watching to find out more. Liberals who are sticking to cataloging our misdemeanors is tackling the crime of nepotism. And again, it might surprise you to know that you and I are on this list. That's right. He says we are all guilty. Sandra, on the other hand, highlights a matter close to all our hearts. She spotlights another casualty of medical negligence. One too many, is what I'll say. A Kenneth jumps on the Keke and Okada restriction bandwagon. She may be taking the road less traveled, though, as she acts seemingly innocently. Are they a necessary evil? Chuka is said to have the last word on the Keke exit, as he terms it. I actually can't wait to hear what his take will be. But wait, we must, as I'll be making the first move after the break. Realizing a new vision or reality takes being prepared to go beyond the familiar, beyond religion. I would say God cannot save us. We must save ourselves. With God on everyone's lips these days, you will think we're living in paradise. For every time, for everything, something goes wrong, we blame God. Or we'll go to her, pleading for some kind of intervention. But what God's work is done. She created us, and she's given us the power and the responsibility to make our lives better. She's not going to come down from heaven to save us, unless we save ourselves first. I know, yes, as I did say, I believe that God is a woman, a big, black, beautiful woman for that matter. So, beyond religion and our reliance on the magic of the divine for even the most basic things we can do with our hands and our heart, we sublet our responsibilities to God. As I did say, the Almighty's work is done. She is not coming back to save us. Well, that's what I believe. Or build roads or institutions for that matter. Part of the problem of governance, at least in this climb, is that the average Nigerian is distant from governance and institutions. And that creates this distance, especially from our elected officials. We see them as nuisances we permit or engage only when necessary, when we need some form of government-approved document. Beyond that, we just ignore all that's going on, which, of course, our elected officials love very much, and it frees them to do whatever. Yes, the occasional fiasco or controversy blows up, but a toolkit to suppress them, such as such, such for those embarrassing episodes, is always available. Given time, with enough money to share, it will blow over. Elections come, and because of the same distance, we, the citizens, engage the politicians purely for our own instant benefits. What can I get once the elections are here? Once we get it, we essentially abandon or abdicate our responsibilities. Or at best, transfer those responsibilities to the social activists. Which is why social activism has now become some sort of a business. Since some of the activists now recognize this pattern and clearly see that it is rewarding. Citizens, we, all of us, have to accept some measure of responsibilities for the failures that are all around us. We never seek solutions, just immediate options to get us around our immediate problem. So we're constantly seeking for options rather than solutions. No matter how good these options are, they are not solutions. At least they are not long-term solutions. We need to engage at an organic level, from our neighborhoods to our communities, to our cities, to our states, to the federal level. Ask questions. Demand answers. For instance, God forbid if my house catches fire. Where is the fire service? How quick will be the response time? Do I know that? Can we go see the fire truck? Where is the fire service? Can we ask questions about their funding, about their training? 
Because even if you're rich, no matter how rich you are, you live in Banana Island or some expensive part of Lagos or Nigeria, I don't know how many people will pack a fire truck in, in their compound or have trained firemen in their employ. Yes, we need government and a responsible government. And even though the road to Banana Island, even that road is full of potholes, and it floods every time the angels take a piss. If you have an emergency, health, fire, robbery, whatever, your help will probably not come in time because all the basic infrastructure that supports that help getting to you will be delayed because of our distance from government. Engagement means not just participating in elections. That is great. But that is often the end result. If citizens do not engage as to what, who, when, and how the institutions that underpin democracy are meant to function, then forget the elections. That is mere formality. That is, the results have already been decided. They have shaved your head in your absence and left you again with a huge bill. For some of them includes even travel to Dubai and pedicure and manicure. Engagement includes deciding on the processes, justifications for government decisions and policies. The process is more important. Engagement means speaking up individually and not subletting our voices to activists. Engagement means coming out to demonstrate and protest. Engagement means demanding accounts of stewardship from elected officials, including asking how much was spent to host the so-called town hall meet meetings and so on. How much did the Lekki toll, toll bridge cost? How much does it make each day? And why should we pay 400? What's the justification for that? Engagement also means that when our fellow citizen, citizens are asking questions, we don't vilify them simply because of their ethnic origins. In fact, now it can be argued that Nigeria's largest opposition party is the social media, because I don't see what um, our so-called PDP opposition is doing. And so it's on Twitter, Facebook, that opposition voices are very much present. And no wonder some people in power, the political elite, are attempting to push for the restriction of that last remaining opposition stronghold. But we as citizens must never be afraid of our government. Indeed, in any country where citizens are afraid of their government, that country cannot be called a democracy. I've said it. I, I have? Yes, you have. <laughs> well, let me add extra then. Okay. Um, I, I like the bit about citizens' engagement. I choose to not get distracted by the she god. <laughs> You're clearly on a journey of discovery, so that's allowed. Well, um, yes. You know. um, but um, yeah, I like the citizen engagement. The only thing I, I, I sort of think to myself is someone here on The Advocate once said that the average person is too bogged down with the daily travails to actually, like, for example, you say the, the toll gates. It's frustrating, but you know, where do you begin? Do you now stop, pack your car, start going to their office, even to get the so-called electronic ticket? Yeah. It takes time, time you don't have because you've been stuck in traffic en route to somewhere else, and then maybe you have to go and buy petrol for your generator. It's, it's quite a lot. So my, my sense of the way I feel, and I've always felt, is that those of us who are a little more privileged in terms of enlightenment and education, and maybe even time or access to some of these things, should create the bridges for people to make, bring them closer to governance. So we Very need to well set said. up you know, systems that allow people to just hop on. Yeah. So for example, if you know people are being oppressed in an area, set up maybe some sort of a petition list, something that makes it easy for people to just key in and you know, add their voice to your voice and mobilize themselves. That's the only way we're going to get group action. So I throw that in. Yes, so the problem I think is because of the way this so-called you know, richer people who could have you know, driven this process, how they made their money might be the ma major problem. To patronage as well. To, to, to come out like that. Uh, although there's still, a few, there's still quite a few who could do it. And um, so I, I like the fact that you're calling them out to Yes, so, yes. Us. because but, really, but, but, yes. Uh, yeah. so, sorry, you wanted to say something. No, no, I was going to say, I just like the fact that you're saying God really cannot help us. Okay. And that's the yeah. truth. Mm. You know, a lot of us, when um, situations happen, there's a fire incident, there's um, a health challenge or something, we're quick to call on God. Even him, he said, God yeah, forbid. Yeah, I, I, I wrote that. <laughs> okay, that he God said. God forbid if my, hand, if my house catches fire. And I was going to point that out. Yeah. So why are you Instead of going to look after his house. Well, right? Do you understand? Yeah, because exactly. because so, it's, it's a social do narrative do that exists. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a but natural yeah. disaster that would happen <laughs> yeah, true, if anyway. it happens. And yeah. So that's why societies put these things in place. He, he said something <laughs> uh, as expensive as Banana Island is. I don't think there's a fire service station there. Recently... The, some shops in Balogu Market, Market caught fire. Sure. It took eternity for the fire service to assess the place. And, and, and so you expect that there should be a standby 
fire service in places like that, apart from keeping. Meanwhile, road safety will arrest you for not having a, um, what do you call it, a fire extinguisher in, in, in your, your car. car. How do you now arrest government, government. for not providing very these basic valid. things? Wow. And then the issue that Chuka raised is very also key. Some of these people also are bogged down with the issues that you raised by pursuing you know, the basic things to provide for their families than even if they now go out to fight for these things and they are victimized, nobody comes for them. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So, well, it's, it's a short case. I think my, my advocate has kind of stretched the boundaries, but here we go. So was it a case of putting the cat among the pigeon with my advocacy? Depends on how you look at it. Liberus, when we come back, looks to set to put all of us in the dock with his advocacy after the break, uh, I hope I will plead not guilty, liberals, <laughs> at this point. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed. It's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.